Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Building a Zoo in Minecraft. I've been working really, really hard. You may notice the area's been cleaned up a little bit. This used to be where my farm was, and I sort of, I, I diverted my mine shaft entrance, and I filled in these little spots with dirt. The grass has since grown over because I've been busy doing other things, like planting these trees along the edge of the zoo. So, let's check out the journey map, shall we? There's a creeper in there, by the way. Oh, and I also turned animal, or sorry, uh, mob icons on so I know exactly what's being, what, what what is on the map and what isn't, and there's a couple of bad guys right here. So. Yeah, oh, you'll also notice there's four blue thingies here in the exhibit because I released the two uh, kangaroos that we caught. That's probably, yep, that's one of them there, and then that's the other one here, I think. Right there. This is the the red, the, the, the variant ones. I believe these are the variant ones. Red kangaroos, these were the originals. So I now have four kangaroos in the exhibit. Anyway, I, I, I guess, planted a bunch of trees, and it looks really, really good. It gives the zoo a nice little cozy feeling on this side. There wasn't enough space to really make a nice exhibit. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. I don't even want your your string. I can get it from your brothers down below. There we go. Yeah, so I planted a bunch of trees here, and I think it looks awesome. As you walk through the zoo, check it out. Also, the path blocks are growing on me. I think I like them more and more. These are just chiseled stone brick, by the way. I got a lamp here, and the path continues here. I got a lamp. I got four, five lamps. Five lamps. Look at that. And then we got a path that goes along here. This is where my, my creative uh, process stopped. I have to figure out what to do over here. And then in the middle here is this nice little seating area. Huh? Huh? It's got a little bench. You can sit down. You can watch the ruse. There's one inside the house right now. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so I think this looks really, really good. But we're not even done yet. I got rid of this little exhibit because I didn't like it. It was just too much. I just didn't like it. And then we got... The path going all the way around, and today's exhibit is going to be something a little different. The process is going to be slightly different today than all the other days. I'm going to actually build it right here, and I'm not going to tell you what it's for until the end. I'm going to let you guys try to guess. Don't, don't cheat. Don't, don't go to the end. Don't skip to the end to find out what it is. I think you'll be surprised at what I'm building today. Um, but I'm going to build it right here. Before we get started on that, though, check this out. Name tags are now craftable. Thanks to the craftable name tag mod, now included in the description. Oh, and you probably noticed this. Actually, maybe not, because I may not have shown it on camera. But this is my taming pen. So, I caught a bunch of animals last episode. I need somewhere to put them and tame them before I can transport them into their exhibits. Otherwise, they're just going to despawn and stuff. So, this is my taming pen. Probably not good for one-by-one -one animals or animals that are small, because they'll crawl right out. But, like, hippos, for example. Elephants, I think, will fit in here. Um, rhinos, uh, probably any lions or stuff like that. I'd probably keep, keep a safe distance, I think, I hope, anyway. So we're going to be using that today for sure. Now, I need to make an anvil because I need to name my hippo Kristen. Again, after my wife. Don't ask me. I don't know why. She really wants be. She, she really wants, she really, really wants the hippo named after her. Ugh, your guess is as good as mine. Paper, gold ingot, and string name tag. Now, did I put the anvil down? I didn't. Let's put it down. Oh, I also crafted this. It's a waste bin. And I was hoping that the I, I was hoping there would be garbage cans in this mod, because I every every zoo needs a good garbage can, but it's a little big. Is that not huge? I feel like it should be the height of the bench. I don't know. Well, I I don't like the way it looks at all, honestly. I'll just leave it back here. Yeah, let's just leave it back there for now. I mean, we definitely need... Can I access it, actually? Huh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Here, let's try this. This golden rod. Oh, you can actually get rid of items by right-clicking the garbage bin. That is amazing. Anyway, let's put this over to where my base is. And I use that term loosely. And then we'll name the hippo Kristen. And then we'll start. We'll, we'll actually, we have to create some pachyderm kibble, tame the other hippos that we caught, and put them in the exhibit. Kristen will no longer be alone. Your time has come, my beautiful. You are now named Kristen. <laughs> oh, that's, I mean, even I feel bad doing that. It was requested by her, though, so I, I shouldn't feel that bad. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's, uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't. Oh, anyway, let's get to work. Oh, and now I can't jump over. I, I, you know, there's been a lot of comments like, oh, you should, you should add like actual entrances to the exhibits. I will. Uh, I think I mentioned before that I want to do like underground passages from each exhibit, and then probably like the the trap doors are gonna come out like in the middle of like a like a stone. Yeah, like the the rocky area there, because it hides them. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do eventually. But right now, let's work on getting some more pachyderm kibble so we can tame those other uh, hippos and give Kristen some company. Leaves, wheat, apples, carrots, kibble pachyderm kibble we got four of them we've got four pachyderms let's get these guys should i do them all at the same time also we've got some eggs that we're hoping hoping to hatch some more birds from i did i didn't tame that uh baby bird did i and i think they despawn so i think every time we hatch an egg we have to tame the birds which is kind of a bummer because <laughs> uh, i don't know it feels like it's uh, going to be a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of kibble and somebody did mention that there's a problem with my zoo when i start getting like meat-eating animals i don't really have any source of meat for my for my predators so we're gonna have to figure that out i think a nice little chicken farm or something will will suffice you know i don't think it has to be anything too crazy just a, just a couple chickens here and there where we can slice them up and serve them up to our pr predating animals uh okay so we got the pachyderm kibble let's get this guy opened up we got one two three four let's start with you uh-huh uh-huh working like a char beautiful look at that we got one next you come here oh, oh this could be a problem can i go through the fence no what about here can, can you come closer okay we might need to have oh here we go whoa he's, he's upset with me all right yikes uh right click yes that's two. Here's the third one. Come here. Come here. No, no. Right over here. Come on. Come on. Come get me. Come get me, big boy. There we go. Yoink. And then the fourth one. Ouch. This is... Oh, nice. We got four brand new hippos into the exhibit. Kristen, I brought you some friends. One. Two. Three. Four. Look at you guys. You're gorgeous. You're absolutely beautiful. I gotta name the rest of you, but here's Kristen right here. Look at her. She's she's as beautiful as always. As beautiful as the day I married her. <laughs> ah, all right. Let's get to work. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen. I changed up the door system in here. Just manual doors for now because they are stepping on the pressure plates and trying to escape. So, and I am sorry for the headache that these birds are currently causing you. I really apologize. Let's start with the macaw eggs. We got a little macaw. And you're now immediately tamed. Then we're going to go with... I think those are two cans. Cockatoo eggs. Why is it... It looks like it was like... Oh! Oh! There we go. We got two little tiny bird guys. Nice. Okay, good. Good. They got bird perches. They got food. Everything is good. Birds, feel free to fly around. You don't just got to stand there. Or, or sit there. Or whatever birds do. So I think I'm going to make this one, not I think, I know, I'm going to make this one one-sided only. So you can only view it from here. Um, and it's going to be, I mean, it, you, there's a good reason for that. You guys will see. You guys will see there's a good reason for that. This animal requires a little bit more privacy. It might be a little bit more skittish. It's very um, solitary in the wild. Should I make it? Is that big enough? I think that's pretty big. Yeah, let's go like this. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the... Um, the straight flat viewing area though so i'm gonna take a step back here in a little bit and see if that's really what i want but for now we're gonna go with it we're gonna go with it so you can stand right here and you can view this animal now i think i want the the entire exhibit to be sunken down a little bit you know what let me think how am i gonna do this i want it to be like um a dark oak outline but I don't want the whole thing to be dark oak, so I think I'm going to use some cobble or some stone along the sides of it. Kind of make it look like... I mean, there's going to be trees afterwards, too, so the trees are going to kind of cover the uh, the exterior. I might just make this one a square, and I hate squares. I just hate them. But it feels like it makes the most sense. I have a vision here. Trust me. 
trust me. I feel I the only thing I'm doubting is if it's too close to this, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I mean, it's just it's in the the um, I, uh, I guess same sort of gap, a three wide gap. I mean, I don't think that's too bad. The hip over there is also three wide gap, but it, it looks larger because we've got that like section where you can go down and see the hippos in the water. Speaking of water, there is going to be some water in this exhibit. So I'm trying to figure out where exactly I want everything to go here. I'm thinking, I'm going to leave myself a little step there. Um, I'm thinking, is this deep enough? Is this deep enough? Because I want people to be able to see most of what's happening. I think i got to go another layer. <sighs> All right. The, I mean, you got to be dedicated, right? Got to be dedicated to your, to your craft here. And my craft is, whoa, that was weird. And my craft is building exhibits, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I've decided to just clear it all out entirely because I like to work with blank slates, even if it even if it end, ends up causing me more trouble than it's worth. Chiseled stone, arrayed bricks, you are over... Arrayed bricks are over here. Boom. Yes, I knew that thing was going to break. That's why I made another one. Come here. Thank you very much. I have... Oh, only three left? Really? Dang, I was so close. Uh, arrayed bricks. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm running through iron like crazy. I need to, like, get a dedicated iron miner <laughs> for me. I'm going to hire one of you guys who are watching to get on here every day and just mine me some iron. Because why not? Why? I'm just kidding, by the way. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that at all. I can manage. I get iron. Iron's pretty easily found. I mean, I guess I can create, like, an iron golem farm or something. But I really don't want to get into that technical vanilla Minecraft stuff. You know, I kind of want to want it to remain a little bit semi-realistic, I would say. I mean, it's not realistic because we got mobs like zombies and skeletons and stuff spy uh, spawning everywhere, including spiders. Um, but I still want it to be... I don't want it to feel too um, fantasy-ish, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I need to go mine a bunch of uh, cobble. I might have some in the chest, actually, because I need to cook up some cobble. Because this exhibit is going to be mainly stone. Any clues yet? Don't skip to the front. Don't read the comments, because somebody, I'm sure, will spoil it for you. Any clues yet on what it could be? I'm excited. Starting to create the rock formations here. Um, I hope this looks better than I think it's going to. <laughs> uh, I'm not much of a terraformer. I mean, I do okay, but I like I like uh, natural. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And then over here, we'll have a different here. You know what? Actually, I want to have this like this. There's a little bit of rock formation up here. I want to bring this. Uh, I think that's okay for here. Yeah, that's a good shape good shape this animal we want this animal to be able to get up here too so um we got to kind of be a little bit mindful of where we place these stone pieces ah, i'm running out i gotta cook a bunch more maybe we'll make this one stick out you know what maybe i'll make this one go around here possibly yeah i think that's what i'll do i'll make this one go around the edge which means i gotta i gotta move my doorway but we're getting there guys i know the back of it looks terrible right now you know, it's just a big gray box, but trust me, once I once I add some trees and some decoration and stuff, you won't even notice it. Remember, that's the back of the zoo. Nobody's actually going back there. The path is going to go through here, underneath some trees, into my uh, animal food storage facility. And you won't be able to see any of this stuff eventually. Let's see how it looks from here. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, and I think I got the height. I think I nailed the height perfectly. And I feel like... I have to mine. I need silk touch is what I need. But I feel like I have to mine this corner. Yeah, and probably this corner. Okay, I'm happier with that. I think I got a nice little idea here for the corner of the exhibit. A nice little waterfall. Ooh, baby. Oh, that's nice. That is good. But I want some more stone kind of just sticking up here like so that might be a little bit too even maybe something like that oh one down here would be good maybe one up here okay good it's looking more natural maybe just one over there oh <laughs> this is gonna be nice this might be my new favorite exhibit do you guys know what it is yet huh come on come on you can do it 
Let me just finish this off. I want this kind of... Uh, I should probably make it nice and tall, actually. i got to put some torches back there, too. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep getting mob spawns back there. And uh, not going to be able to know... We're not going to be able to find them. Let's see. Right there. No, 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 no. Not you. Not there. Not there. That's going to have... It's going to have to have a cover on it. I think I'm just going to use glass... And not the exhibit glass. I'm just going to use regular glass because it's a lot less expensive than exhibit glass. I'm not sure how I feel about this little piece here. I hate the way that the smooth stone all looks together. It's all the same texture. So I chiseled some slanted stone here. And I'm hoping that maybe a couple slanted bricks here and there will help fill in. Uh, or maybe not fill in, but will help diversify a little bit of the stone. I've also got these guys, which are... Um, what are they? Zag. I'm thinking the zag and the slanted, just to give it a little bit of variation, would probably work here. Let's let's get maybe half of these and turn these into the, into the. That's the slanted. Where's the? Z wait, wait a minute. Which one? Which one have I been doing? This is the one I want. Zag. Okay, so we got the zag and the slanted. I don't know. Just a couple of them here and there. Uh, ooh, did I put torches back here? I think I put a torch down there, but let's. Doesn't hurt to put another one. Put one there. Put one there. Yeah, it just gives it a little bit more texture instead of just having the the plain smooth stone. We got a little little extra action going on. Ooh, I found the perfect match for them actually. So the zig and the zag, they all they both work, right? Zig and zag, slanted and zag, <laughs> not zig and zag. But the cobblestone zag looks really really nice because it looks smoothed out. Look at that. That's that is good. So I'm going to put some cobblestone zags down here. <laughs> it's cobblestone zags. Uh, just to make it look a little bit more, you know, in into the ground. Uh, maybe just something like that, too. Oh, I like this a lot. Look at this. It is looking really good. Really good. I have to fix the wall here. I think i got to bring the brick all the way down to make it look more legitimate. Same with all the dirt around here. But for now, let's find a place. Oh, you know what? Will plants actually grow... That is a good question. Oh, man. Okay, here. Let's do this. Let's see if we can get this uh, this dirt to spread here. Into the grass. Because I need to plant some... some I don't know. Plants occasionally. Like up here, too. And uh, I'm going to need that to be grass, I think. I can't bone meal. I guess I could just put in, like, other plants. But I can't really bone meal it. So, hopefully they grow into grass. If not, we'll figure something out. I really, really need Silk Touch. I have 27 levels. Let me see. I actually did make a um, an enchanting table, but I didn't I didn't try it yet. I don't think Silk Touch is just going to show up just like that. That'd be very, very handy. Where'd I put it? Back here somewhere, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Efficiency 2. Yeah. Oh, that's only because... Yeah, that's right. I got to get book... Oh, man. I got to find some more... Uh, Villages. Steal some more books. I hate the texture of this glass. I really do. But, I mean, what else can you do? Uh, it's the cheapest one to create. I guess I could have used gray, but then I have to have to go murder more squid. And I don't like murdering animals. That's the whole point of this series, to show my love for... <gasps> I forgot. Do I even have any more of those? They're invisible. That's why I'm clicking. Oh, I might not have more of those, which means more iron. I do have 14 iron ingots. Okay, we should be able to create some. Oh, man, this, this exhibit's getting pretty expensive. There's one thing I want to do here. Redwood fir, spruce, mangrove, jungle, autumnal flowering. Oak, where the heck is it? Dark oak acorn. We're going to plant a couple of dark oak trees in here. There's not a whole lot of room, so I'm a little bit worried about how big they're going to get. But we're going to try it. Oh, man. Hmm. It's probably just going to, like, all meld together into that into that stone wall thing. So we'll put one... We'll put one here. And then we'll put one here. Are they in line with each other? No. Good. And then we'll hope for the best. Hopefully they don't, uh, they don't like, take over the exhibit because they can get a little large. But... Oh, look at that. It grew right away. Oh, by the way, I really like the texture... Not the texture, sorry, the shadow that this provides because in the in, in actual zoo exhibits, uh, the chances are good that it would probably be mesh above so this this animal does not escape. Um, so I like the glass. We can't there's no blocks in Minecraft that are like mesh blocks, unfortunately. Um, I, I mean there are some with mods, with mods there are everything. But 
this kind of looks like the mesh is sort of shading the exhibit, so I kind of like it. Speaking of shade, actually, I just thought of something. Why don't we have a little cave here for this animal to go into because um, things can get things can get a little bit a little bit warm, maybe, and maybe maybe this animal. <laughs> I keep having to say this animal. Uh, maybe this animal needs a little shade occasionally. So something like this. So maybe we'll break this out over here and we'll we'll create kind of like a still try to make it look realistic here. Kind of like a little bit of a a re, not receding. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to do that. That's just grass, right? That's coarse dirt. This is what we want, silty dirt. Okay, you can go there. Uh just something like that ish. Maybe not that because it doesn't give it enough room to be in here. We just want to make sure that the animals are comfortable. Trees are growing. Um, you know what I should do, though, is make this an infinite spring so that uh, the animal doesn't get, like, shoved into the corner. Anyway, let's add some grass, shall we? A and some leaves, some piles of leaves. So the grass, actually, I can place on the dirt, and I don't mind that at all. I'm almost hoping it doesn't spread now. In fact, could we maybe uh, get the coarse dirt over here? Put a little bit of a barrier here between the coarse dirt and the actual grass. I like it. We'll put some more leaves down occasionally here. We want some grass near the water, and then we want to use this guy to make it tall grass. <laughs> this is going to be a really nice exhibit. I'm I'm actually excited right now. Like, I think this is going to be the nicest exhibit I've done so far. I just hope the animal viewing is is sufficient because, oh, I shouldn't have done that, actually. Did that actually break the whole thing? Oh, man. Okay. We got some ferns, too. I'm going to put some ferns down here and there. Right. Like so. Do we have... I thought I had a little bit of a dirt block around here. Maybe we should put one... No, that's fine. Don't overdo it with the dirt. Beefy boy. Uh, that's good. That I think... Here. This is what we're going to do. Over... Over... Hmm. Probably here. We'll have some more silty dirt. And we'll have a fern. Maybe a leaf pile over there. Maybe one there. You know you can actually climb trees in this mod. Or at least you, you land on them really soft and you kind of... Yeah, look at that. I kind of sink into the trees. And it feels like sometimes I can climb them. Yeah, look at that. I just climbed that tree. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's put more leaf blocks there. Should we add a different kind of leaf block? I think we want to keep things pretty even into... Oh, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. That tree... Ah, I'm worried these trees might get too big. I might have to actually build or craft or I guess, yeah, build custom trees for this one. Because the trees might take over the exhibit. And once you trim these trees, uh, they grow back really, really fast. So... We'll have to keep an eye on that. In the meantime, any guesses as to what it is yet? No? Come on, you can do it. Huh? Even some exhibit decoration, like decorating the actual exterior of the exhibit looks pretty good. I've also planted some trees here, so it's going to give it some nice cover, so you're not going to be able to see that nasty side of the building there. There is a hole there for me to access to let the animal in in a little while. And then I've planted a tree here and a tree here, so that over here we can make a path through the trees or between the trees into my little supply station. I guess, is what we, we can call it. And then I can plant some trees back here, but that's not necessary for now. Um, so, any guesses? This is where I reveal what it is. By the way, these guys are doing great. Don't worry about them. They've got plenty of enrichment, plenty of food. I believe they're all still here. Four red kangaroos, Kristen, four other hippos, and then a bunch of birds. And I'm probably over 100 blocks away from the other birds because that's that's not enough birds. There should be many, many more birds. Let's see if we get any closer, if there's any more yes yeah that's a lot better right <gasps> is that guy stuck no yeah we got lots of animals guys our zoo's doing great and it's looking great too i just oh man it's so cool i really do wish that oh look at how good it looks from over here i didn't even realize that look at that that looks so good that looks so good. Okay, so what do you guys think it is? What is going in here? I think I have to like continue the decoration on this side. Otherwise, it looks kind of awkward. Although, the trees might cover it. 
what I'm going to put in here is the leopard. We're going to go out and catch a leopard right now. Maybe two, but I think one is probably best, unless it's a male and a female. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about this. And in order to ease my worried mind, I think I'm gonna take a um, I'm gonna take a tranquilizer gun with me. I don't even know if the tranquilizer guns are doing that much in this update. That's not that difficult of a craft. And then a trank dart, which is fermented spider eye. Yeah, that's easy too. I don't know if the trank guns have much of an effect on animals. Ooh, this tree is gonna when it grows it should give us a little bit more space underneath to walk around and onto the bridge. I hope. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna make the trank gun. Hope that it actually works and stuns the animal for a little bit, so I can catch it with my net. Because if they're anything like that cheetah, ooh, it's time to it's time to farm my farm again. If they're anything like that cheetah, I'm in some trouble. I am in some some deep deep trouble. Where the heck are my sticks at? Trank gun, got it. This is for my own protection. This is just a tranquilizer. I am not meaning to hurt the animal in any way. Next, I gotta make those uh, trank darts. Yeah, one feather. I believe I have I have 10 feathers. Nice. And is it a stick, actually? Sticks I have. Fermented spider eyes. I believe I have a bunch. I mean, I could get some downstairs anyway. And then mushrooms. I think I have mushrooms and sugar over here. And here we are. I remember I had seen... Oh, squirrel, you scared the crap out of me. You're headed right towards that thing. I remember I had seen it on my on my trip in the last episode, and I just I just loved the way they looked, and I just I, I knew I had to make one of these exhibits sooner rather than later. Plus, I don't have any any predator exhibits yet. Somebody mentioned that, and I realized they're right. So, how are we going to approach this? Um, there's one there. I don't know. Oh man. Okay, I don't know how far this thing shoots even. I don't know. Again, I'm pretty sure it does, it is not effective in this version of the mod. Oh, I just heard a skeleton. That's the last thing I need is a skeleton running up behind me. Where are you? Okay, there you are. There you are. Oh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. I hit it. Oh, it stunned it, I think. Oh, I caught an Amor, Amor, Amor Leopard. That's awesome. I think the Trank Gun does work. It stuns it slightly. Which is just enough for me to sneak up and catch it. Now, I thought I saw another one around here. Am I getting... There it is. Oh, no. This is what we want right here. This one's... Oh, it's a different color. Oh, oh, uh oh. It's stunned again. I caught another one! That is awesome. I only want the two. I think we'll have two in that exhibit. I might have to chop down one of those trees. I'm really anxious to see. And maybe you guys know in the comments who've used these dynamic tree, this dynamic trees mod before. But I'm really anxious to see if I get like a silk touch on my axe, will I be able to block like silk touch some of these blocks? <laughs> because that would be insane. Hi, squirrel. Because that would be awesome. Like I can make a custom little tree in there. Right now, I'm really not happy with those dark oak trees. The reason I use dark oak, by the way, is just because it's just like this forest, the redwood forest, I would love to put a redwood tree in there, but obviously that's not going to be the case. I guess I could use regular oak, but these trees, look at them. They're massive and they grow kind of weird and sporadic. Although the regular oak trees that I have planted near my zoo don't look like this. So maybe it has to do with the biome as well. I can't believe I got two of them, squirrel, two of them, two. Okay, I'm back. I uh, I trimmed these trees back. I know they're very very squared right now, but these guys grow really fast. So uh, I wish I wish they kind of stayed the way I trimmed them. There is an issue, but that there probably is a way to do that in Dynamic Trees mod. Again, I don't know. It's the first time I've ever used this mod, so I don't know much about it. Yeah, they look derpy right now, but watch. Just you wait. They're gonna start growing out in no time. Anyway, we're back home. Finally, we've got two leopards in our pocket, which is kind of cool. We're going to go and tame them. We're going to use our animal taming pen. Oh, wait. i got to find out what kind of kibble they... Oh, no. This could be a problem. Eesh. Turns out they require raw beef and raw pork and fish. Oh. Oh. oh I've never seen that before. Um, so I'm going to catch a couple pigs here. I'm going to have to start a pig pen. I am so sorry, pigs. You guys are not going to like what I'm going to do to you. 
<laughs> I need a fortune. I need I need a fortune sword because I don't want to keep killing pigs like this. I mean, I'm not going to really catch that many more leopards, but it's big cat kibble actually. So all the cats, all the big cats are going to require it. Oh boy. I'm hoping to find, I, I think there were a couple cows right on my zoo island here. If I remember correctly, there's also a giant lava pool <laughs> in case you haven't noticed. The hippos are all doing good, I think. I hope. I think so. Animal tracker, there should be five. Yep, four Nile hippos and Kristen. <laughs> I can't believe that. I, I don't think I'll ever get used to calling a hippo Kristen. Not on my island, but not very far away. Two, wait a minute. These are pig. Okay, these contain nothing. Yoink. And yoink. This is so much easier than leading these vanilla Minecraft mobs back with, with wheat or carrots or a lead. It's just so much easier with a net. Oh, cows. I'm so sorry. You guys are really, really going to hate me in the coming in the coming days. And by days, I mean in a second. You guys are really going to hate me in a second. Uh, and you two pigs. Yep. You're also going to gonna hate me. It's fine, though. I mean, oh, the two, okay, good. The two leopards are still there. I got to breed them first. And then I'm going to, I'm going to have to, I mean, it's for the, it's for the good of the animals, right? You got to sacrifice. Oh, that's terrible. It's just, it's just the, it's the way nature goes. It's the way nature goes. Pigs, it's carrots, right? I haven't bred pigs in so long. I'm pretty sure it's carrots. All right, piggies and cows, have a baby so I can murder one of you. Come here. Uh, the gates are on this side. Okay, you first. Thank you. Do 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 do. Yoink! Oh, I didn't want to kill you. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I apologize. It's terrible. I know, I know. It's I probably killed your mother. Maybe your father. Either way, it's tragic. Um, here. You. You. Go ahead, make a baby. And now one of you get away from the other ones. You are the unlucky fellow. All right, now I need some fish. So I gotta go do some fishing. Aha, there's one. I need two. Oh, hi, dolphin. You gonna help me? Why don't you scare them over here? Uh-oh, it's getting dark. Oh, here comes one, I think. No, I think that was the bubbles from a dolphin. Here comes one. Yes, one of each. By the way, they take both. Salmon and cod. I think these are cod, right? They're just raw fish. Big cat kibble. Oh, I'm missing chicken. Oh, no, I got to do chicken, too. Do I have any eggs? No. Do I have any chicken in here? No. Oh, man. Oh. That was a mission. I finally got these little guys. Oh, man. And now my axe breaks first shot. I finally got these little guys to breed. I only got two like an idiot. I was thinking, oh, two, and then I'll breed them, and I could kill one. But turns out I need more than one. So, oh, this is going to be hard. It's going to be hard to kill this one. I think maybe I'll just slap it over the head with a shovel. <laughs> this is horrible. I don't like doing this, chicken. Oh, wow. What? This is a... This is an iron shovel. How did you do that so quickly, iron shovel? That was really weird. Huh. Okay, you two on on your own now. Anyway, I've got the chicken. I think I have everything to make the kibble now. Let's make the kibble, and then let's, uh, let's try to tame them. There is a little bit of an issue. I think they might be able to get out of that one-by-one one space. That one squared space in there. So... I could be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, maybe I'll put myself on... Hmm, maybe I'll make some sort of like a backup thing. Okay, so we got one. And then we can make another one of these. Boom. All right, so we got two big cat kibbles. We've got the big cats right here. We've got an egg. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. What are the... I think I may have nailed that. Um, all right, here we go. This is trouble. Uh, hmm, I don't know what to do here. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Here's what we'll do in case I get in trouble. I'll do this, and then I will do this because they won't be able to. I don't think they'll. Well, they might be able to to jump from there to there. How about something like this? Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Whew. OK, 
Okay. Oh, you're oh, they're still tranquilized. Yes. Beautiful. I caught a leopard. We still have to see how those trees are growing in that exhibit. Okay, so that one is caught. This one is not. Still tranquilized, I hope. Yes. That is so cool. Now, oh, I don't know. Uh, actually, let's... Dang it. Let's see. This is a male. Oh, I, need another, I need another thing now. Oh, this one has nothing in it. Perfect. Thank you. And this one has just broken as well. And this is a male as well. Okay. All right. That could be a little bit of trouble. That could be a little bit of trouble, but maybe not. Maybe they'll get along. They're, they're, I mean, they love each other, I hope. Yeah, these trees. These trees are going to have to go. I'm sorry, trees. I'm sorry. I have to, yeah, I'm sorry, trees. My axe is broken now, too. So I'm just going to have to punch these guys down by hand. I'm going to have to, like, create a, a custom tree, I think. Like, even, even at a fence post or something. Um, all I really wanted was a thin tree, kind of like this, to grow, but uh, it's just not working correctly. So maybe we'll leave it open. I don't want to leave it open for now. Let's create, you know what? No, we have to finish this. We're finishing exhibits every episode. If I leave it like this, it is unfinished, although it looks really cool like this. Not going to lie. Maybe just one tree right there out of uh, fence, fence post and leaves. That might work. I only have oak leaves right now, but I think that's good. <laughs> there we go. Finished. Um, you know what? No. Let's put a little bit. Make it a little taller here. And by little, I mean twice as tall as I originally planned it. Um, so we'll do something like this. We're trying to make this look semi-natural. But I want it to be relatively see-through. That might be the, good, the perfect shape for it. Only because we'll be able to see everything. Let's see, let's go back out here a little bit, just for it. Yeah, this guy keeps growing over there too, although that's not going to be the access. Uh, oh, you know what? That might just be all we need. I know it's uneven, but that's by design. That might just be all we need, to be honest with you. Okay, let's go. Let's get the leopards out of there. I need to get this these blocks ready. I need two of these guys. And they are the arrayed bricks. We're going to release the leopards. I think they're oh wait I don't have a feeder in here yet dang it and oh a big cat toys what do they what do they need scratching posts I think right I think so we'll have to check the um this great news great news these cats one of the foods you can feed them is zombie flesh and I've got a lot of that so we've got a food barrel we've got zombie flesh and scratching posts scratching posts are just like this Look at that. Two scratching posts for the kitties. Let's put the scratching posts in there. And then let's go put the food in there. And then we're going to release them in there. And they're going to love it. I think for the food, the perfect spot would probably be like right here. Right behind the tree. It's kind of in the middle of the enclosure. Well, it's a little off to the side, but it's not bad. Uh, so let's put this stuff in there. Oh, look at that. That looks cool. Just a bunch of meats in there. <laughs> um, then we got the scratching posts, one on each side, I think. So we'll put one um, here, actually. Yeah, why not? And then we'll put another one maybe way up. Way up. Uh, right over here is probably a good one for it. Good place for it. All right, kitties. Got to make sure I have my blocks ready here. I don't want them to escape. I will release you here. And I will release you here. Be friends, please. Don't hate each other. Oh, he's climbing. He's climbing. I, wa I want to sit here and watch them for a little bit. Oh, no, come on. Oh, this, what a time to miss that walk. I've done this a million times. There we go. Let's see. I'm kind of pumped about this. Oh, look at that. Oh, such a great enclosure. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. Hi. I just want to sit here and watch them. By the way, there is a way to turn down the enrichment 
uh, decrease in the mod options in your game. And I suggest you do that. If you're playing this, the, the enrichment decreases. I think my animals died from lack of enrichment. The balls break really, really fast, which, by the way, they're going to fix in the next update. Uh, but then the enrichment decreases so, so fast. So I turn that way down. So these guys are, uh, are not losing enrichment as often, so I don't have to constantly keep making balls for them. And the good thing is if you have a tire swing, eventually they'll just get near the tire swing because it's such a long time between enrichment uh, going down that it'll just automatically enrich. All I really need is a tire swing in there. And I'm thinking these two scratching posts are more than enough. Look at them! Two males! Maybe I'll get them a female. Maybe I'll just uh, remove one of the males and let them and release them out into the wild. But for now, this is just fine. I almost forgot I was saying goodbye when I realized, no, 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 no. The, the episode's not quite over yet. I mean, it's almost over. But there's one thing I wanted to do before I left. Seed. You'll probably, there it is. You guys have been asking for the seed this whole time. There's the seed. That's a long number, so pause the video and write it down if you have to. But the, oh, look at he's on top of the scratching post. Where's Lil? Oh, right there. Hopefully he doesn't. I don't think they drown. Looks like they climb out of the water pretty easily. I love it, guys. This might be my favorite new exhibit. Imagine just walking around in a real zoo and you're coming across. Oh, kangaroos! Kangaroos are awesome, right? Holy crap! Look at this. It's leopards. <laughs> That's how I would react. Oh, okay, now the episode is over. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to click the like button. These videos take me a really, really long time to make. I realize a lot of you want me to make them daily. Impossible, honestly. Absolutely impossible for me to do that. Every other day is already pushing it, but I'm trying every other day. So every other day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there should be... Was he eating? I didn't see any particles. Um... Yeah, every other day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when you should see a new episode of the Zoo series. Uh, so far, so good. Oh, imagine one of them comes right up to the... This is a good spot right here. This is a good spot. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please don't drown. You're not drowning, right? I think he's okay. I think he's okay. Yes. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the like button. Let me know suggestions for, for like zoo names. I would love to know some name suggestions. I don't really have one yet. So that'd be great. And then maybe the winner. Ooh, maybe the, the person who uh, whose uh, name I pick. Maybe they get a special prize. Maybe, just maybe, I'm thinking about having you guys, a couple of you, join me and create a an exhibit for an animal that we will decide later. But that's just still, that's just me thinking out loud. I've thought about it for, for a while, and I think it could be done, and I think it'd be a lot of fun. So anyway, that might happen. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. See you next time. Bye-bye.